dynamic condition is while the chuck is rotating. There are three main forces that we must consider in how these forces affect the clamping force of the chuck assembly. The first is centrifugal force, which is defined as the force generated by rotation that tends to move all parts away from the axis of rotation. The second is cutting torque, which is the torque resulting from the removal of material during the turning process. And the third force is driving torque, which is the amount of torque the clamping device is capable of driving the part against. First, let's look at the effects of doing work, which is defined as the removal of metal. As previously stated, the torque resulting from the removal of material during the turning process is cutting torque. Or simply stated, it is the force that tries to rotate the part in the jaws as material is being removed and is measured in foot pounds. The following formula, which is found in the machinery's handbook, states that torque is equal to horsepower times 5,252 divided by RPM. For our example, we will consider a cutting torque of 15 horsepower, excuse me, cutting torque of 15 horsepower and rotating the part at 3,500 RPM. Note that the cutting torque is purport, inversely proportional to the RPM at a given horsepower. As the RPM is increased, the cutting, cutting torque is decreased. In this case, we're using 15 horsepower at 3,500, excuse me, 3,500 RPM, we are experiencing 22.5 foot-pounds of torque trying to rotate the part in the chuck. Or said in another way, we have to drive against 22.5 foot-pounds of cutting torque. Obviously, one must have an adequate driving torque to overcome the cutting torque with some degree of safety.